What's the other question, Mark, that you're most excited about answering in the NFL this season? Oh, man. Where do I start with that? Um, I have the Miami Dolphins really intrigued me um, because of, you know, now Odell and the speed they have and Tua. Is the defense up to snuff? Is it up to snuff to get them over the hump? Uh, I, I find it really interesting what's going on in Buffalo, keeping it in their division uh, with Stefan Diggs, now a Houston Texan. Um, you know, can't wait to see how they, how Josh Allen is able to kind of leave his go-to guy for so many years and how that offense changes a little bit. Um, and, and, you know, San Francisco is always interesting to me because they're always a Super Bowl caliber team. What is going, like, can we agree on something, Susie? Like their defense is always incredible, Right. Their offensive line with Trent Williams as the stalwart of that group is always incredible. Brock Purdy now has another weapon in the 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 rookie, Ricky Pearsall, the rookie receiver. Like they are so talented and explosive in, on both sides of the football, but they haven't gotten the job done. And then I go to Kansas City with Patrick Mahomes, who always does, and that's the guy in their way. Um, and that would be the last thing for me is just how Kansas City kind of they just want another Super Bowl. Like, what's going to be different about them this year to to keep them, you know, Tom Brady, you know, on the Tom Brady train, kind of, so to speak? I thought you were going to ask me if we could agree that Brock Purdy is a an NFL caliber quarterback, because I just, I feel like that <laughs> poor kid, just the, the conversation never ends. Like, how good is Brock Purdy? It's like, he, he's pretty good, people. We, we just watched yeah. him. He's pretty good. I just... When somebody shows you who they are, believe them. Like, I'm not sure why. I, I spent a lot of time at the Super Bowl with Brian Greasy, you know, who he's so interesting to listen to on their the 49ers staff and obviously played the position. And, you know, Brock Purdy goes undrafted. Well, this is a guy that Greasy was pounding the table for. And when you have somebody like that analytically who understands the position that saw that out of this young man at, at Iowa State, um, you got to listen to it. And like, they couldn't be more pleased with how he's able. Can you imagine walking into Kyle Shanahan's offense? He no. is arguably right now, the way he calls plays that stretch run game, the way he is able to get all of these Debo and Kittle and Ayuk in space, right? They get the ball in space. They are yak destroyers in San Francisco. That is where they make, I've talked to George Kittle about it. That's where they make their money. Get the ball in space. Kyle is the one who puts them in that position. Well, if if you don't have a quarterback that can deliver the ball to those places seamlessly and with rhythm and timing, and at his young age, he's able to do this in a Kyle Shanahan offense, I have great respect for that. And so until he proves me otherwise, I think Brock Purdy is a pretty damn good quarterback. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.